So, the bad old days, xorg.conf. We now actually have XRNR, so you can actually fix things like that really quickly. Um, sadly, um, this is an XKCD that doesn't work very well, but maybe this makes it funnier. Um, the, the other axis says, time since I last had to open xorg.conf on it. That bit wasn't supposed to happen, but anyway. So, no, that doesn't work, never mind. So, you don't need to edit xorg.conf anymore. Generally, XRNR is awesome. So, um, maybe helping people present slides a bit better. Um, you run XRNR and it tells you you've got two outputs. The star in this column here shows you what your current resolution is. And actually, that's why it's all broken, because I'm using the wrong one. Um, I'm not going to try and fix that live. Um, <laughs> that, yeah, that's probably not going to go well, although I think the recording is probably going to be broken now. Oh, well. Um, so this is actually quite interesting, because you can run this with minus minus verbose, and you then see all sorts of stuff. And this edit thing is actually quite interesting, because often the problem is not that your computer is doing the wrong thing, but it's actually that the hardware has some metadata, and it's wrong, because hardware sucks, software sucks. The problem with hardware when it sucks is you can't really change it, because, you know, okay, you can sometimes do a firmware upgrade, but who does that? So, yeah, that's annoying. So, your computer does its best, but it's being given crap by the hardware, and this happens. Uh, so, fun things you can do. I'm not actually going to do it, but if you run XRNR without the dry run bit, you can scale the output. So, in this case, I don't actually change the resolution, but I can make it um, be a bit smaller so that if my slides didn't fit or something, or you've got a TV at home and it does overscan because hardware is awful and overscan is a thing. Um, so, this is an Engadget article about overscan and why TVs do it. Why is that so broken? Anyway, um, so, it's, that's actually not overscan, it's just that my laptop is doing a different resolution to the thing. Anyway, um, they, TVs have this different thing to computers. Computers, you want every pixel as it is. TVs, you want a nice picture. So, TVs do overscan to work around this, and it's nasty, but we have to live with it. So, the, the answer is um, this helpful minus minus transform option, which you can use to fix it. You just have to do a minor bit of matrix multiplication, and you can solve your problem. All problems can be solved with a matrix multiplication. So, basically, um, this is the matrix. Um, this one is the scale factor. This one is the offset. So, in this case, I'm pushing the screen 100 pixels to the right, to the right so it would start here if I'd actually run that. And obviously, you take this matrix and put it in the command like that. So the C here is that option there. And yeah, there. So yeah, they have some examples, but this isn't very good. So yeah. Um, I thought I'd get a bit of Perl in here just in the, like, the last minute. So here's a little bit of fun. I um, don't know how well this works, but. There's a helpful Perl module called, uh, if we get the data here. So, yeah, there's a helpful Perl module called pass edit, which you can actually use to figure out what that hardware is telling you. And maybe it's wrong. And this bit that you can barely see is a mode line. And why does data dump printer do that? Uh, Right, no colors. Um, anyway, yeah, so you get mode lines here. These are actually just like the old XORG mode lines. So you actually can, if you want, use XRNR to hack on old style mode lines to try and fix your problem. So software sucks, hardware sucks more. XRNR is your friend. Learn it, you know, let's test and have less problems with slides, hopefully, maybe. I wrote an, what is that? Nah. I wrote an article um, which has some stuff about useful commands to run. So maybe that's useful to someone. Um, yeah, thank you.